you made your Outlander debut in the season premiere. What was the, what were some of the reactions on Twitter? It must have been fun. It must have been fun to watch that happen. Yeah, it was. Actually, it was. I mean, Twitter is kind of a new thing for me, and it's really interesting to see the amount of like great, loving fans that they have and uh, that the show have. And obviously, then now I do have many new fans as well, which is. It's really interesting because they've been, I mean, a lot of people would ask me about it and I'd be like, well, they've been very keen. They've been very, very nice. I would be afraid at first because I would be like, oh, so many people judging my work and like watching and everything. But truthfully, they've all been adorable and Aww. very and encouraging. So no, that was only, only positive things. I don't think they love to hate you. I think they love to love you. Is that, is that what you're kind of getting when you're seeing some of the cute responses? Well, there is a lot of cute responses, but I think I think that's part of a that's part of the game. I didn't try to make him hateful or loveful. That's the the interesting thing about those type of characters. You don't have to overthink about because, as I said before, I don't. I mean, I don't see him as a villain or a baddie. I see me. I see him as a human being on the course for like a lot of different things and. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, it's interesting because I guess a lot is related to like his physical aspect. And uh, but uh, but uh, wait for it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna hate him. You've already threatened Claire and Jamie. Um, so, do you think that um, if he had met her and she hadn't um, said that there was smallpox within the vicinity of a large crowd, if he just met her at a party, do you think they would they would have got on? Probably. I mean, I guess, yes. I guess there is a connection between them. There is something happening. I don't want to say too much, but there is definitely something between him and her and Master Raymond that connects. There is uh, something really like interesting about the black magic and about all those things. So I think that would have been definitely a complete different energy. Although, uh, if I'm being honest, I guess the Comte Saint-Germain being, uh, being in the Parisian court uh, wouldn't like to see so many new people you know, get around the king and being liked by the king, he's kind of like, I mean, he's striving to reach the top and he's like thriving to be a sort of like, you know, big figure. And, um, and I guess that would have been probably a threat to see those two new people. But with what they've done, I mean, especially her, then it's sort of like, it, it all goes south. Like, I mean, she's been burning my boat. I mean, not her, but because yeah. of her, my boat burns and it's heartbreaking. Yeah, and financially heartbreaking too. Yeah, especially for him. Mm -hmm. To me, as like that's the that, that was the good connection to do. That was interesting for me as a as myself. I mean, I love boats. I sail a lot, and seeing a, like imagining a sailing boat burning was just devastating, heartbreaking. And for the character, mm -hmm. yeah, he doesn't care about the smallpox. He doesn't care about his crew. <laughs> he cares about the merchandise and this huge amount of money burning is just too much for one mom. When did you start sailing? I didn't know that you, you were a sailor. Oh no, since I'm a very like young kid. What do you love about being on the water? Just like I feel really, really close to myself. I don't talk too much. Uh, it's a very grounded thing to do. And it, I mean, it just like, yeah, I'm just way more simple with everything. It's, it's what I, I love the ocean and I mm -hmm. love getting lost. Like, I mean, you know, in my mind, not on the water. That would be scary.